Alright guys, welcome back to the benchmark video. So today we are going to be testing The Witcher 3 again. But this time it's updated and it's more playable now. Um, yeah, for FPS monitoring pro, uh, for the FPS monitoring I'm using is Cam. If you'd like to learn how to use Cam, you just click on the top right corner of the logo. Uh, and if you already know how to use it or you want to find it out for yourself, you can always download it in the description below to learn more and all that. So yeah, so let's just get straight into the gameplay. Now video uh let's go to graphics let's see v-sync we got this off uh maximum frames per second 60 that's the maximum it goes actually we've got to keep it unlimited sorry about that uh unlimited so it's free it's not capped all right so uh resolution we got this on 1920 by 1080 we've got to be testing this in 1080p 900p and 720p display mode full uh, full screen let's see um preserve system gamma got this off Nvidia hair works, so this is very demanding, so we get this off. Nvidia hair works AA, we got this at 4. Nvidia hair works preset, we got this on high. Uh, number of background characters, we got this on high. Shadow quality medium, terrain quality high, water quality medium, grass de uh, density medium, texture quality ultra, uh, foliage uh, visibility range medium, and detail level high. And hard workers are off. So these are the settings that I am running it on. So we got this on high, medium, and ultra. So we got some mixed up settings, mostly mostly on high. So yeah, let's go to pros processing. Press yes. Let's see options. Uh, hold on, <laughs> I I lost my train of thought there for a minute. Uh, let's see video. There we go. Okay, motion blur because it's off. Blur, we got this is like motion blur. I got this off. If you guys want me to continue using, uh, if you guys want me to use motion blur in games, just let me know and I'll keep it on. Uh, anti analyzing, we got this on on, uh, bloom on, uh, sharpening, we got this on low, SSAO, ambient occlusion, we got this on SSAO, and depth of field, we got this on on, um, on. As you can see, all the two weeks here are on, except for motion blur, which I don't like. But if you guys would like me to use it, just let me know and I will use it. So, let's see. So you can see straight off the bat, we have a very decent 30 frames per second. Oh my goodness. There we go. I mean, before I couldn't even run this on Ultra, but with the... I'm using the latest patch, by the way, that you haven't said it already. It's version 1.12. I don't know if you can... No, you probably can see in the main menu. But yeah. So I need to get my horse now. Yeah, it's true. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking. Creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotten This is very smooth. And I'm running an ultra. The texture quality I'm running it in ultra too. And this is very smooth. In 1080p. collapsed. 30 FPS. This is a very smooth frames uh, 30 frames per second. And uh, my GTX 750 Ti is overclocked, manual overclocked it at uh, 100 megahertz. The core clock I clocked it to 100 megahertz. And the memory clock, I got this at, I got it at 76 megahertz. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, my throat's a bit itchy. Faster. Oh, it's not exactly going our way. We have a sign. The northern realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? I will be testing this as well with the 950, so. Radovid's pledge to restore the old borders. GP usage at 98%. Hmm. Believe that. <laughs> Gotta believe something. Keeps us going. Although do you think that my GPU is gonna explode? I mean, yeah, it is in 80 degrees, but it came like that already from fabric. Well, it actually came at 60 uh, degrees, which is not bad. But it's still, if I would have played a game, it would have bumped up to 80. So the card comes already overclocked. That uh, the card comes fabric overclocked, and um, oh, no. <coughs> it's uh, it was already at 80. So uh, it's like locked at 80, but it's all right. We have a we haven't come to a little bit of a stutter, but that's because probably I'm I'm recording. When I'm recording, I do lose about eight to five frames per second. <laughs> Smack that booty! <laughs> Ooh, the cutscenes are locked. 
into the set the cuttings are locked at like the same uh, frames per second as the gameplay from now and then so God that was close I was provided you got lucky so your horse died quickly the griffins like to toy with their prey eat it alive piece hmm. by piece oh so this is actually very smooth in 1080p 30 frames per second you like to would um yeah sure why not <laughs> always use a few crown thing is i've a meager person you just got to get this get yeah. straight into the gameplay back to the trail you seek someone uh yeah a woman <laughs> yes a woman we know we're just skipping to the gameplay guys Okay, here we go. So in 1080p, as you can see, straight off the bat, it runs very smooth. Let's just run in the water. Let's see. 30 frames per second. This is very, very smooth. I am using the latest patch, if I haven't said that already. I think I said like two times. Sorry about that, guys. I forget stuff. But yeah, before, I couldn't even run it properly. It was at 30 frames per, per second, but the texture quality, I think I had it on medium or high. I don't know, I don't remember, but I did do a video about this uh, on The Witcher 3 when it first launched. Um, just scroll around my channel, you should see it there. And the video has gotten a lot of support, so thank you guys so much for that. But yeah, 1080p runs very, very well. So now we will test it in uh, 900p. So let's just go down to... Oh, there we go, 900p. So... Yeah, it should run even better now. So let's double check if it's at 900p. As you can see, 900p right there. There we go. So let's see. 40 frames per second now. We're running in the water. <laughs> the GPU is just stuck at 98, 99. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, I did overclock my 950. Um, I did take a picture and I did post it on, the, on Twitter and on the Facebook page. Uh, you can always find those links in the description below. So you can always check it out. I just post some cool uh, pictures. And I will be doing soon, I will be posting videos. I do post videos on the Twitter, but not on Facebook. Facebook, I just put like pictures and updates and all that. I think we have to go here, don't we? I mean, the game is very beautiful. Just right off the bat, the sun, the sun rays, all that. So let's see. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here? <laughs> I was supposed to go to the bar. <laughs> but we're not going to go to the bar, we're just going to keep on testing the other game. Alright, let's see if we speed up with the horse in the water. Oops, sorry, horsey. We're not, you're not, you cannot swim. So, at 900p, we are having about 35 minimum. Average is 45 to 44. And maximum we have gotten is actually 60 or 50. So, again, 900p. I, I mean, so if you guys are planning on getting a 750Ti, I recommend you overclock it and run games at 900p. So you, can, you can run it at 1080p, as you saw. It runs very smooth. But I just need to tweak some settings off. But uh, if you want to have maybe some extra settings on with the 750 Ti, I recommend you run games then in uh, 900p. So now we will test this um, in 720p. As you can see, it's already by 720. So we'll press OK. There we go. As you can see, it says it here in cam, 1280 by 720. So, as you can see straight off the bat, 
we have 66 to 65 fps i mean again if you want to run it on ultra like i mean everything on ultra and you want to put at 720p you can get a very good um performance as you can see the settings that i have currently 60 fps a smooth steady 60 fps but again i mean it's 720p it's a lowest resolution but hey it's better than nothing so i mean i do run games on 720p but those are games that are very demanding i mean i for me to play games i must have like a steady 40 to 50 fps or even better if it's like stuck at 30 i'm not that comfortable with it so let's go again on the horse and we test this out Oops, sorry. Let's see, let's go through the fields. Through the grass. Oh, <laughs> that was actually a pretty uh, weird sound that, that guy just made. Oh shit. Are those wolves? Beat it, horsey. I'm gonna kill these. Okay, these are like infected wolves or something. Let's run through the f um for the trees. Let's see if we can dip down. As you can see, we have dipped down right now to 50 FPS. But apart from that, we are golden. Let's see. All right, 54 FPS. That tree just disappeared. What? Oh, there it is. Ah, it's like that. I said, I guess. But this is 54 FPS as you can see. Did I just take a shit? What was that sound? Oh, that was like... It's like a gooey sound. I thought uh, Garrow took a shit there for a minute. <laughs> Too much pancakes. <laughs> okay. Is this guy dead? Shit, I think he is. Which is sense? Ooh, don't mind me if I do. Fishing rod. Yeah, let's go fishing. <laughs> now, as you can see in 720, 720p, it runs very, very well. So what I'm going to test now is... Let's see if we can get um, 1080p. And the texture... Quality, where are you? On high. Let's test that out. Let's see if we can get a better performance. So, 35 frames per second in a texture quality on high. But uh, it runs the same, really. If you put this on ultra high, it runs the same. Doesn't matter at all. It just runs the same so I keep it on ultra I mean again if you want to get a smooth 60 frames per second with 1080p then you must turn down some settings to like medium or low so but yeah this has been the Witcher 3 latest patch 1.12 on the G GTX M50 Ti it runs very well very smooth in 1080p 900p and 720p mostly 720p we get like 66 frames per second so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and uh, i will be doing uh battlefield hardline if i haven't done it already and i will be doing as well the the witcher 3 on the 950 and other and more games coming as such as gta 5 so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next benchmark video peace